The biggest difference between men and women is rationality. Women are led by their emotions, while men use logic. The better you are at analyzing situations with clarity and objectivity, the more it shows you are a masculine leader. Every woman loves it when a man is able to remain calm and level-headed, especially in the face of adversity. It attracts women because it demonstrates a level of confidence and independence. At the same time, there is nothing that turns a woman off more than a man that starts to panic. A man that becomes emotional and stressed out when he meets a challenge is disgusting to women. Listen, you are not a little girl. So learn to approach challenges with a clear and logical mindset. It will benefit both you and those around you. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing the true doctrine across the four winds of the earth and all truth and sincerity. I'm the Mahad Ariyah from the Mississippi Count. Lord willing to be able to find a lesson. And uh, as you see in the beginning of this video, it's a small clip. It was a video that the uh, elder priest Shaquat from the Mississippi camp, he had sent me this uh, video, man, and it was pretty heavy, man. The Spirit got on me to do a, a video, just a quick video, Lord willing to edify, and just going into um, how masculinity is going to be so important, man, and how masculinity is, uh, is how a man should be, especially a man of the Lord, you know, walking in his faith, being in his truth, because the times we are approaching, that feminine vibration, you know, of men is going to destroy you, you know, and, and that, that masculine vibration that women try to carry, that shit's going to be out the window. Okay. So if a man can't gird up his loins, he's going to be devoured. Okay. And women who try to, who want to try to hold on to that masculine uh, vibration, that masculine energy, they're going to be destroyed. Because, hey, Jacob's trouble is coming, man. And when that time come, when 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 Esau come down with that great wrath, all right, when the economy collapsed, when famine at its all-time high, pestilence is wiping out people, you got all these different uh, uh, people, like from penitentiaries, people who haven't been able to take their medications, who all schizophrenics and, and bipolar, or got these demons on them, basically. Running loose, you can't call nine one one. You know, when you can't get no no emergency assistance, if you will. Hey, these women, man, they're they're gonna get in order. Okay, they're gonna get in order. They're gonna be trying to find a man, and not just any man. They're gonna be looking for a man of the Lord. Okay, and, and a lot of them are gonna get rejected because a lot of them ain't right. A lot of them never been right. And they'll still be having that 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 mindset of trying to get over, man, or just trying to uh get get in where they could possibly try to fit in. But it's not gonna work that way, okay? Because everything is gonna be gonna be working on a spiritual vibration, man. Okay, if if, if your spirit ain't right, then then no, a man of the Lord is not gonna deal with you. If you're not gonna be beneficial to that man's house. You're, then, then you're not gonna, uh, uh, you're not gonna be brought in, okay. And and women are gonna be looking, searching, and, and, and doing everything they can to find protection under a man. All this westernized, bad bitch got um money, and thinking they something that they're not above men type uh, mindset, that shit is going to be out the window, man. Okay? It's not going to be no more hot girl summer. It ain't going to be no more eyelashes. No um, feminine products. No weed. No makeup. You know, you're going to be put out and presented as who you really are. In and out. Your outward appearance is really going to be put out there. That pride is going to be gone. And all you men out there with all this feminine energy, 
all this on your mind, protect your queen, serve your queen, she your queen type shit. Your ass going to be through. Ain't no women going to be checking for you in those times. Okay? Ain't no women going to be checking for your soft ass. Who cannot provide protection. Okay? Who the Lord is not dealing with. You know, that six-figure job ain't going to do shit for you when the economy collapse. Okay? When, when, when all the electricity, you know what I'm saying, is cut off because of some kind of EMP or something. Okay? When Esau come down that great raft kicking in doles, spoiling. Okay? Ravishing women. Killing children. Killing men. You know, what, what are you going to do if you're not a man of, of the Lord? You're going to be out there. You're going to be destroyed. Your, your family's going to be destroyed. Or they're going to be all thrown in a concentration camp and, 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 and be tortured. That's why the Lord said, you know, about his men, that he's going to give them fame in the land where they will put the shame. Because nobody paying attention to the prophets now. Nobody looking at the prophets as, as truly men of the Lord. Okay, you got some out there, and I'm not talking to those, but it's predominantly people out there who still look at, especially when it comes to Great Millstone, as as uh, um, frauds, basically. But that's okay. That's okay. Because through the Spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, starting from our apostles and our elder bishops on down, hey, the Lord is dealing, man. And it, it's, it's not... Uh, um, a proud thing. It's it's a it's a confident thing. It's a thing of confidence because we see what the apostles have been doing for decades. We see what our bishops have been doing for decades. We see the fruit that has come forth by the ministry of our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Okay, and how this this fruit has grown and spread it throughout the four corners of the earth, and that's what women are going to be trying to check for, and only humble women and women who have the right spirit are going to be accepted amongst the house of a man of the Lord, man. Okay. This is the book Isaiah chapter four, verse one. And in that, that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. And, and, and that, that day is what that day of complete chaos, man, complete, uh, 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 disorderly, chaos going on in Babylon, Jacob's trouble, martial law, when Esau come with that great wrath, okay, famine, pestilence, all right, a dark days when you don't have no lights, no water, no assurance of safety, okay, those days, all right, saying we will eat our own bread and women going to be trying to do anything they can to get in, man. They're going to be willing to cook, okay? They're going to submit. They're going to go into that feminine order that they should be in and that submissive order they should be in, okay? Because it's going to get real. And the Lord is going to make it be known that he's at work and people are going to be fearful, okay? Saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. And that shows you that a man, it's lawful for a man to have multiple women. Okay? It's lawful. As long as that woman is not betrothed, or as long as that woman don't belong to another man, then it's, 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 it's lawful in the eyes of the Lord, man. It's not committing adultery regardless of how people feel or think about it. Now, what Apostle Paul did say, though it's lawful, it may not be expedient, roughly paraphrasing, just because it's lawful don't mean it's good. Because if you if, if you can have multiple women, but you have to be able to take care of them. But see, in the days uh, uh, of the times we coming in, we're going to be, and when I say we're, operating out us men who are men of the Lord, Lord willing, we're, we're going to be in a position to take care of the women that we deal with, that we accept to be uh, carry our names. And it says seven women, but that, that's, that's a number of completion. 
Brothers might have two or three women, one woman, four, five, seven, eight, whatever the Lord feel is 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 uh is suitable or that is or is needed for that brother. Okay? And those women are gonna be humble and fearful women and women of order, okay? And women who fear and believe in how about Shimmy Shai, As well as respect the man that allows them to take upon his last name or his name, rather. But those are the days we coming into. And, 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 and the women are going to recognize those men because we're going to have that spirit. We're going to have that aura, okay? The spirit of Yahweh Shimmy outside is going to be oozing out of us, man. Not to mention it's going to come a time when brothers are going to have that standard lift. They're going to have special uh, uh, um, uh, powers, if you will, spiritual powers, okay? Being able to do, do miracles, okay? Whatever the Lord, uh, uh, whatever portion the Lord gives that brother to do, whether it's healing, you know, uh, uh, whether it's made to make, be invisible, throw out laser beams out your eyes, fire out your hands, fly, okay? You know, whatever, Whatever the Lord see fit for that portion to be of that brother, it's going to be done. And we believe that. Us brothers in this truth, we believe that. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, starting at verse 7. For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love. And of a sound mind. Right, because hey, when these things start happening, when Esau started coming down that great wrath, the persecution started, when bodies started really hitting the flow, hey, the brothers are not gonna be fearful of that. Now don't get me wrong, it's not gonna be like just a a, a, a regular day, if you will. And there's gonna be a fear of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah, because we're gonna see the judgment of the Lord, man. You know. And, and, and we fear you, how about Shimmy outside? You'll be a fool not to. But it's a lot of fools walking around, but not truly men of the Lord who fear who fear y'all about Shimmy outside. All right. We're gonna be a little shooken up by seeing the power, man. You know, for example, you got a sibling, a younger brother, and, and he might have done something, and you see your pops whoop his ass, just tear his ass up. You ain't finna get a whooping. You ain't done shit. But seeing your pop the way he whooped your brother ass, it strikes fear into you, man. Okay? And you don't want no parts of that. So as men of the Lord, we're gonna see the, the, the judgmental whooping that the Lord is gonna bring upon these people on earth. And we're gonna be like, we don't want none of it, man. We don't want none of that action. But as far as Esau in general, and the shit he's going to be coming with, the persecution, persecution, you know, putting us in concentration. We don't fear none of that because we know that's the will of the Lord, man. And we know through the spirit of Yahweh, the Lord got guide us, man. The Lord is going to protect us. Okay? We ain't going to be out there like the rest of you people. And see, women going to be seeing that. Women going to be uh, uh, spiritually... Uh, 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 drawn to that. It's happening now. But it's only going to increase. Because the men of the Lord are masculine men. Some a little more rough around the edges. You know, some may be a little more suave than others. But at the end of the day, it's that same spiritual vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah amongst men. And that's being magnified continually. And it's going to continue to uh, be magnified. It's going to continually to be increased, man. Because we're approaching those times where Yahweh Shah is about to show his powers, man. Through his men, before he make his grand entrance. Verse... Uh, Verse eight, be thou, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the affliction 
of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh by Shimei I was shy. All right, I'm going to read that uh, second, second Timothy, first chapter, verse eight in the NLT. It reads, so never be ashamed to tell others about the Lord and don't be ashamed of me either. Even, even though I'm a prisoner for him with strength, the most high gives you be ready to suffer with me for the sake of the good news. And we know we're going to be persecuted. We know the devil finna, you know, uh, uh, throw some of us into prison as the scriptures say. Okay. We know some of us going to be martyrs. Okay. We're going to, someone's going to be beheaded. We know someone's going to be thrown in concentration camps. Okay. But brothers who are, are uh, uh, made martyrs or brothers who have already passed on scripture said those who die and Yahweh by Shem Yasha shall be risen first. So that means that they fought the good fight, okay? They finished their course. But they're going to be risen first. We're going to meet them brothers in the chariots, man. So that's that's what we're doing, man. We're, we're fighting the good fight, okay? We're trying to endure. We're trying to continue to do what's pleased to you by Shemi Shah, that we may receive those palms, man. And by way of doing it, that, 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 that spirit... It's going to be such a, a powerful and, and a, a undeniable uh, uh, presence on earth. Women are going to start cleaving to it. Women are start going to start uh, uh, running to it, man. Like 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 bugs on, a, on a one of them night lights on your porch at night. OK, but not all are going to be found worthy of carrying our names, man. Not all are going to be found worthy, man. But at the end of the day, it's not about us. I'm just making the point. It's about you. How about Shimei Shah and doing his will? So Lord willing, man, hey, I brought the Zion, us brothers who's doing this work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, humbly. Okay, that the Lord found us worthy of being part of his uh, elect, man, that governing body. OK. So a um, hey, Lord willingness is edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.